wonky whistle. It was a beautiful blue day on the island of Sodor. It was the day of the country show. All the engines were busy. Hooting and tooting. Pushing and pulling. To make sure everything was ready on time. Thomas was at the steamworks. His whistle had broken. He had to have a new one. Please hurry, Victor. I want to be puffing perfectly for the country show. All in good time, my friend. Ease your axles, please. Then Sir Topham had arrived. Thomas, when your new whistle is fixed, I have a special for you. You are to chaff to Farmer McCall's farm. He has a trailer of animals waiting to go to the country show. Thomas beamed from buffer to buffer. Puff proudly, chuff carefully, and whistle well. I want you to let everyone know about the country show. Yes, sir. Thomas's pistons pumped with pride. Hurry, Kevin. I have a very special special. I have to tell lots of people about the country show. Doing my best, Thomas. Tricky things, new whistles. Hold your huffing, my friend. Kevin is right. Wonky whistles make strange sounds. We must fit the whistle carefully. You must wait. Workmen, fit the whistle. The whistle is clearly wonky. But Thomas was too excited to wait. I'm sure my whistle isn't wonky. I must race to Farmer McCall. Thomas! But your whistle is... Wonky! Wait, Thomas! He blew his wonky whistle loud and long. Kevin was surprised. Heaving hooks! What was that? But Thomas was pleased. Everyone will hear about the country show now. And Thomas chuffed cheerfully away to Farmer McColl's farm to collect the animals. There were ducks for a duck race, Katie the sheepdog, and Farmer McColl's prize cow. Thomas huffed happily. I must hurry. I must go quickly to the country show. Thomas steamed Thomas. swiftly Thomas. away before the farm workers had closed the trailer properly. But Thomas didn't know that. His pistons pumped and his steam swirled. I'll chuff to the bridge. There will be a lot of people there I can tell about the country show. There were a lot of people on the bridge. It's Thomas! Thomas was pleased. Hey! Hurry to the country show. Tell your friends and don't be slow. Thomas blew his wonky whistle loud and long. The wonky whistle scared Katie the sheepdog. With a bounce and a bound, she jumped off the trailer. The people waved to tell Thomas. Thomas thought they were waving to say hello. My friends were happy to hear about the country show. Now I'll chuff to Maithwaite Station. There will be even more people there to tell. On the way, Thomas saw Bertie the bus at the level crossing. Bertie the bus has a lot of passengers. I'm sure they'd like to know about the country show. So Thomas blew his wonky whistle loud and long. Hurry to the country show. Tell your friends and don't be slow. Thomas's wonky whistle scared the ducks. With a flap and a flutter, they flew from the trailer. Bertie tried to tell Thomas. Thomas! Thomas! Thomas thought Bertie was hooting to say hello. Bertie was happy to hear about the country show. I must hurry to Maithwaite Station. I know there'll be even more people there to tell. There were a lot of people on the platform at Maithwaite Station. So Thomas blew his wonky whistle loud and long. Hurry to the country show. Tell your friends and don't be slow. Thomas's wonky whistle scared Farmer McCall's prize cow. With a bang and a bump, 
She hurried out of the open trailer. Thomas! The station master tried to tell Thomas. Thomas! Thomas thought the station master was calling to say hello. All the passengers are happy to hear about the country show. Now I must whoosh and weesh. Everyone will be waiting to see the animals. Thomas puffed proudly up to the showground. Fizzling fireboxes. Where is everyone? And where are my animals? The trailer is empty. Thomas was surprised. Then his wheels wobbled with worry. Sir Topham Hatt wanted me to tell everyone about the country show. He wanted everyone to come. But no one has come. And I have lost all the animals. Sir Topham Hatt will be cross. Thomas wished his wonky whistle loud and long. Thomas? Thomas saw Farmer McCall shout and wave. Thomas? Thomas! Cinders and ashes. My wonky whistle has scared the sheep. It must have scared the other animals, too. Everyone was waving to tell me that. I am a very silly engine. I should have waited to have my whistle fixed. Now, I must race like the wind to the steamworks. At the steamworks, Thomas waited for his wonky whistle to be fixed. Next, he puffed to the farm to collect the animal's favorite food. Then, Thomas started his journey again. Katie, the sheepdog, liked the bone. The ducks liked the seeds. Farmer McColl's prized cow liked the hay. At last, all the animals were safely delivered to the country show. The sheep scuttled and scampered. Katie ran to round up the sheep. Now I must tell everyone about the country show. Thomas puffed and chuffed round the island. Hurry to the country show. Tell your friends, don't be slow. Everyone was happy to hear about the show. And happy to hear Thomas's wonderful whistle. Thomas chuffed back to the showground. His wonderful whistle had worked well. There were lots of people at the country show. Sir Topham Hatt was pleased. You have been a really useful engine. Now I have one more job for you. Yes, sir. I would like you to blow your new whistle to open the country show. Thomas's boiler bubbled. Right away, sir. Thomas blew his wonderful whistle loud and long. The country show was open. And everyone cheered. Even Katie wagged her tail. <laughs>